Hi, in this video we'll see like how we can fix the error could not contact entitlement service status code 503 on fire application. Are you getting a error? Are you getting an error something like could not contact entitlement service error on fire application? The full error is could not contact entitlement service status code 503. This error can be caused by variety of reasons including server issues, network problems or even problem with your computer or gaming system. In this video we will see like what are the causes for this particular error and we also see like how we can fix this particular error. Okay, so first we'll see like what is the cause for this particular error. Okay, so if you are getting this kind of error means that means that the server for 5M is down at that particular moment. Okay, so there is some maintenance with the server or the server is down for some time. So what you can do is like you can wait for some time then you can probably try after some time opening the file application then you can start using it okay suppose if you have a weak internet connection or an unstable internet connection that is also a problem for which you are getting this particular error okay and the third cause is if your antivirus or the firewall is enabled so make sure that you have to disable that in order to overcome this issue okay so that's what it says like if your antivirus software or the firewall is blocking the access to the fire servers you may also encounter this particular message okay see here you can see the particular error what you are facing like fire has encountered an error that is a status code 503 so now let's see like how we can fix this particular problem okay so in order to fix this, there are some kind of methods or some kind of steps which you have to follow. Okay, so checking the 5M server status and ensuring that you have a internet connection, you have a proper internet connection and, and it's a stable internet connection. Restarting your computer or a router, updating your drivers and checking your firewalls and antivirus settings. Verifying the game files through the Steam or reinstalling the game contacting the 5M support team if none of the steps help okay so now we'll see one by one steps like how we can overcome this issue okay so the first method is if the 5M servers are down and you are experiencing a problem there might be there may not be anything you can do until the problem is resolved so here you can see the status Users report indicate no current problem at 5M. Suppose if you see that there is no current problem means there is no problem at this particular moment. Okay. And if you are getting the error. Let me just try to open that. Okay. Suppose if you are getting an error and it will be updated here. If there is a server maintenance or if there is a server. Okay. So that's the first method and the second method is restart your computer and router so restarting your computer is one of the simplest solution what you can do from your end and you can also restart your router that will help the connectivity issues okay so that's the second method and make sure that you have a proper internet connection and all the cables and the wires are properly connected to the router and there is no loose okay and the third reason is and the third step is check your firewall and antivirus settings make sure that your firewall and antivirus softwares are not blocking access to the fire servers okay see this firewall and antivirus will treat fire application as sometimes as a spam okay so make sure that you disable the firewall and antivirus settings that's the third method the fourth method is 
verify the game files if the game files are corrupted or missing you may need to verify the game through the steam or by reinstalling the game to verify the game files through the steam right click on the game uh, in your steam library select properties then select the local files tab and then select verify integrity of the game files and the last method is contact the fiam support team if none of the steps works like the last four steps then the contact team the, or the support team is always ready to help you okay so what you can do is like you can go to this particular website support.cfx.com go to this particular website support.cfx.re so once you go to this website click on this submit a request so here you can go support and help help and support so here you can enter the email id of uh, your login credentials and here you can enter the subject like you can enter the subject as the issue what you are facing like could not contact entitlement services code okay and here you can enter the entire description of the problem what you are facing finally here you can add the supporting files or the screenshot of the error what you are facing so once you are done with this you can finally submit this particular issue and the backend team will check the issue they will get back to you with the solution okay so that's all about this thank you